In this video, we'll look at how we can use our Zoom H6 as an audio interface with Pro Tools. So besides being an all-in-one recording solution, you can also use your Zoom H6 as an audio interface, just like we have an audio interface right here. The Zoom H6 can be used as basically a stereo interface where you're only gonna get two out. Basically everything would be summed to stereo, or you can use it as a multi-track audio interface up to six in and two out. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is of course, download the appropriate drivers if you're on Windows. If you're on Mac, you should be able to just use the core audio drivers. You can use a Zoom H6 without any drivers on Windows, just as a general USB audio device, but there's plenty of dolls that will work better or require an ASIO driver. So head to the Zoom page, go to the Downloads tab, come down to the bottom here, and you'll probably want to download both of these drivers. One of them is the stereo driver, just the, uh, you know, the two bus, and the other one is the multi-track. We'll be using the multi-track driver. So download both of those, install both of those, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so I am on Windows and I have already downloaded and installed both of those drivers. We'll be using the multi-track driver here. So after you have done that, if you're on Windows, what you'll need to do is grab the USB cable that was supplied with your Zoom, the mini USB cable, and just plug that into the side. Of course, plug the other end into your computer. Now that we have the unit plugged into our computer, we'll just press our menu button on the side here and then use our scroll wheel right here. Now you can scroll down if you wanna scroll through all of this, but it's easier just to scroll up once and that will drop you right into the USB portion here. Then we'll press in on our scroll wheel there and select audio interface. Now right here, you're gonna have two options. Stereo mix, like I said, is just gonna be two in out, almost like a mixer. What we want, I mean, that can be useful, but what, what we want to really use this as an audio interface is the multi track. So we'll just select that there. We can power the Zoom H6 through USB bus power from our computer, or we can use the batteries that we have in it right now. You'll probably want to choose the batteries. Uh, it's a little bit more reliable or can be more reliable, but you can, you can try these out. We'll just go with the batteries. Again, we're just pressing in on our scroll knob. So there we go. There we go. We have this all set up and now we can go ahead and launch Pro Tools and set this up in there and just take a quick look at it and see how it works. Okay. So here we are in Pro Tools. We have our Zoom H6 connected. You can see on the interface, it's in multi-track mode and it's at 48 hertz. That's what our session is at. You can actually even have a session of say 96 uh, kilohertz if you want. Okay, but we're at 48 hertz. And if your Zoom H6 isn't selected automatically, come up here to setup, playback engine, user dropdown, and you'll see the Zoom H and F series multi ASIO. If you chose the uh, stereo out, the two out, then it wouldn't say multi ASIO. I think it would just say ASIO. Okay, but we're using the multi, so there we go. We're using the multi so we get six separate tracks here because we have a total of six inputs here uh, that we can use. The one thing to note is, of course, you know, this, I, I can't hit record on the unit. It's not going to record, you know, it's not going to play because it's uh, being an audio interface right now. And in case you're wondering what this cable is here in the line out, that is a stereo uh, breakout cable. So we can actually record what's going through the Zoom, you know, what, what this interface is actually hearing and I can actually record that elsewhere. Okay, so you, do, you don't need this part here if you're using it just as an audio interface, all right? This is just so I can make the video. All right, so to, to prove that this works, we'll just hit uh, play here. I have Mini Grand already loaded up. We already have some MIDI on there. So let's just hit play. There you go. You should be hearing that. One thing you'll probably want is a pair of headphones so we can, I can actually hear what's uh, going on through the unit here. So we'll go and plug those in. Okay. And by the way, you can also use your Zoom H6 as your main interface in Windows here. You can always come down here to playback devices. And we can always choose that right here. It's called headphones uh, H6. So you can always set that as uh, your default device if you want to use it as the audio interface for Windows. This is not Pro Tools. This has nothing to do with Pro Tools. That's the audio interface for or Windows, okay? So you can do that as well if, if, if you want. All right, but once again, we'll play here just so I can show you that Zoom H6 is working as an audio interface. Again, come up here to Setup, Playback Engine, and that is where you can choose uh, what interface you're using. Also, we can come up here to Setup, and I'll go to Hardware, and you can see that we have chosen our Zoom, and you can also launch the Setup app here. You can change your buffer 
and come in here and you can see sample rate is right now it's locked to 48 uh, kilohertz because of course uh, that's what Pro Tools is, is set at, at the time. All right. Uh, keep in mind, this will be a little bit different depending on what DAW you're using. We're using Pro Tools. You can, of course, use WaveLab, Cubase, Studio One, and pretty much anything else, uh, any other DAW out there. Okay, we've covered about everything, but let's see how our inputs work here. But first, let's come up here to Setup and I.O. You may need to do this if it's the first time you're using your Zoom, and you may need to default your I.O. there. Input, Output. You can go through the buses also if you want. Uh, that would actually be a good idea, but we're not going to do it right here. There we go. So now on audio track one, this is a mono audio track. Here is a stereo audio track. If I want to use an input here, interface, you can see well, our choices, the choices that we have here. So the left, right, dot L, that's the left of the uh, XY mic that we have uh, connected here or the left of, of this capsule. And then this would be the right since it's a mono track. If we go to the stereo track here, you can see our choices there. So one and two, then three and four, and of course our, our capsule right there. All right, so how do we use that? Well, let's let's start with the stereo track here. If I just monitor this track, I should be getting some input from these mics. And you can see in Pro Tools, I you know I tap the mic, not getting anything. That's because there is something else you need to do. You need to actually sort of arm these tracks or activate these tracks on your Zoom H6. So if we want to use this mic up here or whatever capsule we have connected, I'll just hit either the L or the R here. You can see that turns those on, and there we go. Now we're getting input into Pro Tools through this XY. Let me uh, put it a little closer to my face so you can hear that a little better. Okay, so that's through that uh, input right there. Of course, you can record that. Let me mute this one just so I can show you. Okay, recording. We're going to move this a little closer just so we get a better level. There we go. All right, stop. And now we have recorded with our microphones there on on the zoom i can play that back so just so we get a better level there we go okay that was a that was a bad example but you get the point there uh you could of course if you just wanted to record one side you could just say choose the l there and since this, these are still activated here you, you can, can hear, hear that. that all right so now let me actually actually i should also mention you also have the option of using direct monitoring with this we're not going to go deep into how to use this i just wanted to want to show you the basics you can Go to menu here and see the options uh, that you still still have here, okay? You don't have as many options when you're using as, a, as an audio interface, but you do have some effects and of course, phantom power uh, if you need it there. And right here is our direct monitor that I was talking about. If you, if you just want it to run through the zoom and then out to sort of compensate for any delay going through, you know, through Pro Tools. We're not gonna turn it on, but you can uh, if you want. Okay, so what do you say we hook up a microphone now so we can see how that works? Okay, so we have a microphone right here. Now, if I were using a dynamic microphone like our SM58 here, then I would not need phantom power. But since this is a condenser, we will need phantom power. I'll plug the XLR into one of the inputs here. We'll just go with number three here for no reason, just happens to be closer to me at the moment. Now, as I mentioned, this microphone is is a condenser microphone. So that means we're gonna need phantom power. So let's go ahead and turn that on. So if I just activate, say that track there, and go into Pro Tools here and interface, and choose input three, monitor it, increase our input gain. Not really getting anything there, right? Let's go into our menu. Make sure we go down here to phantom. And we can turn this on or off. We can choose the voltage. It's already on 48, which is what we need on off. And we'll go down to track three. Turn that on. And menu to return. There we go. Now, make sure that's down. Turn on three again. And turn this up. And now you're going to be hearing through that. Let me get this microphone over here towards me, turn this down a little bit, go ahead and we'll monitor sure. that, that track. track. So now you're hearing me through the microphone that is, sorry for the d delay there. Uh, I'm hearing a delay in my headphones. So now you're hearing me through the Audio Technica mic right here using phantom power through our uh, audio, 
audio interface here, our Zoom H6. So that's pretty cool. That's how you would do that. Obviously, you can you know adjust your input gain. You can still use some of the effects that we showed earlier there. If we want to use say any of those effects there, low cut, you know, compressor limiter, uh, what have you there. All right, pretty cool. And again, of course, you can just record that. Record. Make sure this is muted. And there you go. Now you're hearing me through the Audio Technica that is connected to our Zoom H6. Pretty cool. Go ahead and stop that. Okay. We'll deactivate that on the Zoom. So that's pretty much all you need to know. I guess I can hook up a guitar up to this uh, real quick just to show you that as well. All right, so now we have Bias Amp opened up here in Pro Tools. That's going to be our, our, our amp sound. We have the guitar plugged in here to uh, track one there so let's we can activate that and you you can see down there on the monitor here you should hopefully see that input there so of course we need to monitor that in pro tools right here now you should be hearing it and of course you'll have to adjust your gain here your input gain that you want and i'll just hit a couple chords because we have some delay here All right, so there we go. Take that off of input monitor and turn that off too. Very cool. So let me go and take my guitar off. Okay, so there we go. That is how you could do guitar. Now, like I said, I had a bit of uh, delay there. Uh, we have a pretty high buffer, about 512, so we'd want to lower that way down. The reason why we're using multi-track is we could record all of these inputs. So I could record the left, right, one, and three. That's what I have connected. I could record it to you know, all of these tracks here uh, at once, all to different tracks, and we could have multi-tracks. That's why we're using multi-track instead of just the stereo. If, if you did just the stereo, then everything would just come out on just two outputs, okay? And that you, it would just be all be, kind of like a mixer. It would just be all summed down just to, to uh, two in out here in Pro Tools, and that's what you would get everything together instead of, you know, being able to have separate uh, tracks, hence multi-track. But that's Pretty much all you need to know. We didn't go through everything. You can also do some things here uh, with with your uh, monitor mix here, so you can uh, monitor things in a different way. We didn't cover that, but I just wanted to show you the basics of using your Zoom H6 as an audio interface with Pro Tools, with Cubase, with Studio One, whatever the uh, case may be. It's really really simple to use. It's a great handy recorder, of course, but it's, it can also double as an audio interface. Great for uh, you know if you want to record podcasts with this on its own. And then later you want to take it to your computer and cut it up with the included Cubase LE or WaveLab or here in Pro Tools, you can go ahead and do that and just use this as your as your audio interface. Now, whenever you're done using your Zoom H6 as an audio interface, just hit that menu button, scroll down to where it says exit, go ahead and push in on your slider there and choose yes. So we're done using this as an audio interface. Push in again there. And there we go. Now you're back to using your Zoom H6 as a uh, handy recorder, as a field recorder. And you can go ahead and disconnect it from your computer USB port. So that's pretty much all you need to know to, to at least get started the basics of using your Zoom H6 as a six in, two out audio interface.